hello beautiful people hello beautiful world welcome back to my channel i am ashley renice and in today's video i'm gonna be sharing a realization i had that changed my perspective on decisive action so as you guys know we lead with stories over here so if you are not a story loving person you need to become a story loving person okay because you're a part of the family now which let me just say don't forget like comment subscribe do all the things to support the channel so one day at home chilling my dad calls me ring 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 hello he says hey ashley could you please drop something off for me it's something that i had for him and he said drop it off at this address i said okay daddy no problem so i hang up the phone go about my morning and i'm getting ready to leave so when i'm leaving now i put the thing in my car and i drive off or did i put the thing in the car so <laughs> i am about 30 minutes into driving and i thought to myself hold on did i remember the thing that daddy asked me to drop off I had no idea like I was there driving and I'm like did I remember it and I was so scared that I had left it because if I had left it then I would have to drive 30 minutes back home and if I had to drive 30 minutes back to my house that may throw my day off a lot of ifs a lot of buts a lot of maybes are you catching my drift and in that moment, instead of simply turning around, checking my back seat, you know, quickly glancing around to see if it was there, I did nothing. I just continued to ruminate and think about the possibilities all hanging on if I left it. In that moment, I was experiencing what is called analysis paralysis. It sounds really cool, right? Me, you know what I mean? But that's what was happening. So let's find out what the heck is analysis paralysis. Analysis paralysis describes an individual or group process where overanalyzing or overthinking a situation can cause forward motion or decision maker to become paralyzed meaning that no solution or course of action is decided upon in a natural time frame i want us to remember that part a natural time frame let's go back to the story now this entire thing lasted about two minutes but if we're being honest two minutes is quite a long time to decide whether or not I should take a quick glance to look if I left the thing. Then it hit me, what are you doing? Just look, see if you left it, and then you're able to decide whether or not you should go back home, call your dad, say you can't drop it off today. That's the only time that I'll be able to make a decision is if I make a decision right now to do a particular action. And I know this story may seem like such a trivial illustration of this particular thing, but this happens to us on a daily basis. Maybe not, you know, whether or not, oh, we left something at home, but it happens with our dreams, with our goals, with our aspiration, and with our ideas. We overthink to the point where we do nothing that actually moves the needle. And then we are deceived into thinking that because we're thinking about it, we're actually doing something. And you know, in these cases, we often think that we are protecting ourselves because we say, okay, it's best for me to just run through this plan, run through this idea 50 million times because that is the only way that I can ensure that I don't mess up, that I can ensure that it comes out perfectly. And we think we're protecting ourselves, but really in most cases, what we're doing is actually limiting our potential. 
We're actually stifling our potential of what we could be and how this could turn out simply because we are thinking of the worst case scenarios. Many times these worst case scenarios, child, one in a million. But that is what we're focusing on instead of focusing on, okay, what can I do right now? What decision can I make? What action can I take right now that will then inform what I should do next? That is what we should be focusing on, not possible outcomes. And don't get me wrong, it's very important to think of possible outcomes and to analyze situations, but we don't want to analyze it to the point where we get paralyzed and we do nothing because action is what creates momentum and momentum creates motivation but if we wait for the motivation or we wait for the confirmation that everything is going to be fine then we would never get to action we would never get to momentum and we'd never get to motivation we think that we should be starting from motivation but we actually have it backwards so remember this Decision creates action, action creates momentum, and momentum creates motivation. And it goes around in a cycle. And once you get in that cycle, then guess what? You are on your way to being everything that you are meant to be. So at this point, I want us to explore just how much overthinking is holding us back. The biggest thing for me because I believe that every single person was created to create. That is it. Now, how you create may look differently. You know, some people were meant to create the way Elon Musk creates, which is to provide like innovative things for our generation and futuristic and all of that. And some persons were meant to create the way a teacher creates, where they sit down, they think of a lesson plan, how is the best way for this person to receive this information. Persons were created to create in different aspects. So I believe you were created to create. And when you overthink, what overthinking does is it kills your creativity. So one of the things that you were created to do, overthinking is killing that. So it's a lot more serious than we, we like to think. Okay, and I'm here to help to remind you how serious overthinking is and how serious this analysis paralysis really is. So I want you to think of your brain um, your brain energy, your brain power as like a budget. And let's say every day we get a thousand dollar budget to start. We get a thousand dollars to start. We are, this is at us at a hundred percent as we open our eyes. When we start to overthink, guess what we're doing? We start to deplete that brain energy. So our budget starts going down, right? And before you know it, we are at say $500 and it's just eight o'clock in the morning. And because of that, our brain now needs to, of course, function, have the body run properly. And then it's like, I don't have any time for creativity. I have no power, I have no energy to put into creativity. But the good news is that when we actually start to exercise and tap into our creativity and just do things that make us feel creative, that energy gets restored. So I want us to stop overthinking mainly because it is killing that creativity and actually start doing. The more doing, the more we create, the more we, you know, just get into things that bring us joy, our brain energy, our budget will start to replenish. And then guess what? You're going to get into the decision action cycle. So I'm talking all this doom and gloom about creativity. I know, I know, I know. I'm not a doom and gloom person, but when I get the message, I gotta come share it. So I know you're probably like, okay, like, can you stop talking about that? How, Sway? How can I stop overthinking? How can I overcome this analysis paralysis that I seem to be in where it is stopping me from going after my dreams, my goals, and my ideas? Here's how. First thing that you need to do to overcome analysis paralysis is to shift your identity. 
yes so this is not as easy as it sounds i'm not gonna pretend like it is but it's not as complicated as it sounds you have to start identifying as someone that takes action you have to start identifying as a decisive person so do you find yourself saying things to yourself like oh i'm indecisive yeah it takes so long for me to make a decision hello <laughs> stop it start identifying as someone that takes action and makes decisions and one way as you know the brilliant um james clear excellently put it is that you have to start casting votes for this identity so let's look at a scenario you are trying to um become someone that takes action gets out of analysis paralysis and really get into that decision action cycle now, how do I do that? I can't just wake up one day and decide that, oh, this is what I'm gonna do. First of all, yes, you can. But to strengthen that decision, what you should start doing is actually doing smaller things that cast votes for that identity. So let's say one small thing is that you decide every morning, as soon as you wake up, the first thing that you're gonna do is take a sip of water. Pretty simple right all you have to do is in the night before make sure your water bottle is by your bedside table or beside your bed what you do is in the morning when you get up you follow that decision and take that action and drink a sip of water what you are telling yourself is that you are a decisive person who takes action and when you start doing those small incremental things that cast votes for this particular identity you'll find yourself becoming someone that takes action numero dos let go of perfectionism now i'm gonna say something that some people may not want to hear but I'm here to help you to become your best self. I'm here to help you unlock your full potential and live in it. So buckle up, buckle, because I'm going to say it. In my, you know, experience of coaching others um, and really getting to the root of this so-called perfectionism title, I have found that identifying as a perfectionist is a glorified way of saying I am scared to fail just sit in that for a moment now it is very natural for us to not want to fail okay um, especially based on how we were brought up we we're brought up you know grading oh this is how much you got out of a hundred which dictates just how capable you are which is a lie um, if you grew up in a schooling system where they did um, like streams where you had the brightest set of children in one classroom and as you go down it just gets duller and duller and duller and duller until in the final one it's just people who I guess society would write off right so if you grew up in that particular environment then it's gonna be natural for you to not want to fail but I want you to let go of it I want you to let go of the facade this title of being a perfectionist and look at it for what it really is because it's not until you look at it for what it really is that you are actually able to make a change and to become better so let go of the perfectionism title and start realizing that okay the truth is I am scared to fail I am scared to fail then and only then can you start making that change once you let go of that perfectionist title right and you realize okay I'm scared to fail then guess what then you can start making your changes and you can start trying little things and allow your genius to shine through because it's in you it's just waiting for you to give it permission to come out and the only way that it's gonna get that permission for it to come out is if you allow yourself to try so back to the story i decided to just suck it up 
look in the back seat and lo and behold it was there so that entire time that i was worried about whether or not the thing was in my back seat was a waste and you know two minutes people what are you talking about but those two minutes i could have been brainstorming you know how to do a next video or brainstorming something to go into my coaching program but instead i'm out here worrying if something is in my back seat <laughs> So just remember that the ball is always in your court. If you have experienced analysis paralysis, let me know down in the comments. I'm sure you have, but I just want to hear about it. Um, and if you have experienced it, it's not the end of the world. Like it's a good thing that we're here talking about it and you can be like, ooh, yeah, I need to start taking action. I need to switch that identity. <laughs> right true but the ball is always in your court you can always make changes and this is what we are here for we are here to learn to grow to blossom to flourish period okay part of me wants to stop saying period but then another part of me doesn't i need to dig into that why do i want to stop why don't i want to stop <laughs> this is what goes on in my head okay so let go of perfectionism Cast votes for your new identity. Cast votes as a decisive person, as an action taker, okay? And start doing the things that bring your heart and your brain joy and happiness. All right, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I know it was a bit of a lengthier one, but I said everything that needed to be said on this particular topic <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys learned something please don't forget to comment i want to see y'all i see y'all watching but y'all ain't commenting and it's crazy because i ask person to comment but i'm not a commenter like as a watcher as a consumer on youtube that consumes content i don't really comment that much but if you are a commenter comment down below I want to hear from you. Thank you. <laughs> Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share this video with at least two persons. Yes, I said it, two persons. It can be any two persons. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.